Hello Grade 10 Learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka palang sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So for today's lesson, I will be discussing about the fundamental counting principle or it is also known as the fundamental counting techniques or FCT. So counting events will help you find theoretical probabilities in our next chapter. So, ito yung ating mathematical concept uh, behind FCT. In a compound event in which the first event may, may occur in n sub 1 different ways, again, first event may occur in n sub 1 different ways. And then we have here the second event may occur in n sub 2 different ways. And so on. So, therefore, we are talking about two or more events. And the kth event may occur in n sub k different ways. The total number of ways the compound event may occur is n sub 1. So, this will be our first event. n sub 2 for our second event. n sub 3 for our third event. And so on. And n sub k for our nth event. So, therefore, we just multiply. So, according dito sa ating formula, we just multiply each event to get uh, the number of possible ways. Okay? So, ito yung ating mga key terms. So, the first one is outcome. So, when the combinations of items or a succession of events are considered, each result is called an outcome. Kapag naman event, it is a subset of all the possible outcomes. And we have here, compound event occurs when an event is composed of two or more outcomes such as uh, flipping a coin followed by flipping another coin. So that is a compound event. So para makaroon kayo ng background ng fundamental counting principle, ito yung mga uh, possible ways or possible combinations na pwede nyong magamit. For example, kung kayo ay mahilig sa fashion, so, di ba, para hindi natin ulit-ulitin yung mga damit na sinusuot natin. So, pwede tayo mag-mix and match. So, therefore, if you have five t-shirts, if you have five pants, and you have three shoes, so, napakaraming ways kung paano nyo, kung paano kayo poporma or kung paano nyo siya isusuot. At yun yung pag-aaralan natin ngayon sa fundamental counting principle. And let's have an example para mas maunawaan nyo pa yung aking sinasabi. So, let's have an example. Sarah Heronimo is a popular concert artist. So, sino nga ba naman ang hindi makakakilala kay pop star royalty Sarah Heronimo? So, suppose she is planning a concert tour in three cities, Manila, Cebu, and Davao. In how many ways she can arrange her tour schedule? So, we will help uh, Sarah Heronimo to arrange her schedule. In how many ways kaya she can arrange her tour schedule? So, if there is no restriction on the order of performances, then Sarah may start in any one of the three cities. So, kung walang order na pinag-uusapan, so pwede siyang mag-start sa Manila, so pwede rin naman siyang mag-start sa Cebu, or pwede rin naman siyang mag-start sa Davao. After the first city is chosen, she may choose from the two remaining cities as her second stop. So, halimbawa, uh, ang kanyang first stop, halimbawa, gusto niyo mag-start ang kanyang concert sa Manila. And then, yung second stop niya is may mamili siya either Cebu or Dabao. Kung ang napili niya ay Dabao, the remaining city will be her last stop. Therefore, ano yung kanyang magiging last stop? Cebu. Ulitin ko, halimbawa, nag-start siya sa Cebu, so ito yung kanyang first stop. So, ano kaya yung kanyang magiging second stop? Either Manila or Davao. Kung ang pinili niya ay Davao, of course, ang magiging last stop niya ay Manila. So, for us to list all the possible outcomes or yung possible tour schedules niya, gagamit tayo ng tinatawag nating tree diagram. So, tree diagram ang makakatulong sa atin para makita lahat ng possible tour schedules. 
So we have here the start. So meron siyang first stop. And then meron siyang second stop. At meron siyang third stop. So sa first stop niya, Manila. So gagamitin ako dito ng initial letters. So Manila, Cebu, and Davao. For example, ang first stop niya ay Manila. So ano kaya ang kanyang magiging second stop? So dalawa na lang yung kanyang pagpipilian. So it's either Cebu or Davao. Kapag naman Cebu, dalawa yung kanyang pagpipilian. It's either Manila or Davao. Kapag naman Davao ang kanyang first stop, dalawa ang kanyang pagpipilian is either Manila or Cebu. So, how about for the uh, third stop? So, di ba ang first stop niya Manila? Second stop is Cebu. Ang kanyang third stop ay Davao. And then, kapag ang first stop niya ay Manila, ang second stop niya ay Davao, ano naman ang kanyang third stop? Cebu. So, Cebu, Manila, Davao. Cebu, Davao, Manila. Davao, Manila, Cebu. Davao, Cebu, Manila. So, ayan. So, the possible tour schedules in the compound event, uh, compound event are as follows. So, ilagay na lang natin dito. Ilagay na lang natin dito. So, you have here Manila, Cebu, Davao. So, in order to. So, first stop, second stop, and third stop. So, you have here Manila, Davao, Cebu. Cebu, Manila, Davao. Cebu, Davao, Manila. Davao, Manila, Cebu. And, Cebu, Debu, Davao, Cebu, and Manila. So, therefore, there are six possible tour schedules. Paul, so, di ba sinabi doon na N sub 1 times N sub 2 times n sub 3 ellipses times n sub k so ganito lang yon so yung kanyang concert tour schedule since ang hinahanap naman doon ay not all possible outcomes so ang tanong natin is how many ways so dapat makuha natin na there are 6 possible tour schedules so paano yung ating gagawin so you have here the first stop second stop and the third stop so this will be our n sub 1 this will be our n sub 2 and this will be our n sub 3 so we just multiply it so sa first stop ilan ba yung kanyang options so there are 3 options which are the Manila Cebu and Davao and then, for the second stop, ilan na lang yung kanyang pagpipilian? So, dalawa na lang. So, bakit dalawa? Kasi, kapag napili niya na yung isa dito, so, ito na lang yung matitira. Halimbawa, pili niya dito si Manila, dito ay dalawa na lang. It's either Cebu and Davao. So, dito naman sa N sub 3 ay isa na lang. Since, halimbawa, dito ang napili niya ay si Cebu. So, dito ay yung Davao. So, we just multiply. So, 3 times 2, 6 times 1, is 6. So, therefore, the answer is 6. So, there are 6 ways. So, let's have another example. A food stall sells squid ball, fish ball, and kikyam. So, therefore, ito yung mga food choices. Squid ball, fish ball, and kikyam. There are also 3 choices for the sauce. Sweet, spicy, or sweet and spicy. 
how many different combinations are possible. Again, so bago tayo pumunta doon sa FCT, so gumamit muna tayo ng free diagram para malaman natin lahat ng outcomes. So, ito yung mga food choices natin. At ito yung ating sauce. At lagay natin dito yung outcomes. Four. So, let's start. So, ito yung kanyang start. Sa food choices, we have squid ball. So, SB nilang ilalagay ko. Fish ball. And kikyam. Again, we have here squid ball, fish ball, and kikyam. So, while dun sa ating mga sauce, kapag ang pinili mo ay squid ball, so, ano yung pwede mo maging sauce? So, yung tatlo. So, pwede kang mamili sa tatlo. It's either sweet, spicy, or sweet and spicy. Ayan. So, kapag naman ang pinili mo ay fish ball, same lang din. So, meron kang tatlong pagpipili ang sauce. So, you have here sweet, spicy, sweet, and spicy. Kapag naman kikyam, you have here sweet, spicy, and sweet, and spicy. So, let's have the outcome. So, first, ang pinili mo ay squid ball at ang iyong sauce ay sweet. Next, ang pinili mo ay squid ball, ang sauce mo ay spicy. Ang pinili mo ay squid ball, ang sauce mo ay sweet and spicy. So next, you have here fish ball, sweet, fish ball, Spicy, and you have here fish ball, sweet and spicy. And then you have here kikyam, sweet, and then kikyam, spicy, and you have here kikyam, sweet and spicy. So these are all the outcomes. Ang tanong, how many different combinations are possible? So, therefore, bilangin natin. So, you have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, the answer to our question is there are 9 possible combinations. Here, the order in food stall. So we have the food choice as our first event. And then our second event is sauce. So the choice of sauce. So that will be our answer too equals. So, multiply. So, sa food choice natin, ilan ba yung pwede natin pagpilihan? So, there are three. So, squid ball, fish ball, and kikyam. So, how about sa sauce? So, there are also three options. And then, we just multiply. So, three times three, you have here nine. So, answer, nine possible outcomes. Nine possible combinations. So, as easy as that. Okay, sige. For your activity, so try to answer this one. So, a coin is tossed thrice. So, therefore, you are going to toss a coin three times. How many possible outcomes are there? So, pwede kayong mag-draw ng free diagram to il illustrate the possible outcomes. So, paano yun? So, ka so mag-start kayo dito. Start. And then, you have two options for the first toss. So, meron kayong second toss. At meron kayong third toss. And then, nandito yung outcomes. So, for our first toss, so the possible uh, outcome ay 
H for the head and T for the tail. So, lagyan natin. And T. So, i-continue nyo lang ito. And then, you can also apply the fundamental counting principle by multiplying uh, first toss as your first event, second toss as your second event, and third toss as your third event. So, para malaman nyo yung tot uh, total number of possible outcomes. So, i-comment nyo sa baba yung inyong answer. So, I hope that you learned something today about fundamental counting principle. So, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like this video and share it with others. So, God bless you all.